Good morning traders and welcome to Phoenix Blues Morning Update. Hope you're very well this morning. My name is Nishal Patel and I'm going to be conducting to this morning's uh, update. Today is Thursday the 25th of May 2017. As always, um, if you'd like any guidance or any help in how to trade the markets um, and then particularly how to gain consistency, feel free to send us an email um, at the, on the, with the details displayed in front of you. Um, alternatively, Feel free to follow us on our alternative social media platforms um, so you can gain an edge in your trading. As always, um, the details provided on this video are for educational purposes. Um, all right, guys. So first things first, uh, what we need to do is just have a look at the key announcements um, that are listed for today. Um, as we can see, um, there are a host of bank holidays across Europe for Ascension Day, um, which are obviously going to have an effect onto the marketplace. Um, but please remember that these are on the stock markets themselves. So um, it may see um, may see a dip in a liquidity somewhat. Um, we do have the GDP quarter on quarter. Um, uh, estimates from on the sterling uh, this morning um, and that is followed by the unemployment claims data um, that regularly comes out on the Thursday once every other week and uh, something also to note our OPEC meetings as well which we will see and how the effect uh, we'll see how that affects us on our chart um, I think the first place we should start is on the dollar index and if we just have a quick look at this chart daily time frame on the dollar index it shows the dollar is just finding a little bit of support after bottoming out somewhat um, earlier on at the start of the week has taken a bit of a tumble and most importantly um, a lot of the traders saw the Fed meeting minutes um, from last night yesterday evening as this week and um, they seemed a little more reluctant and the minutes gave away um, more reluctance from the Fed in terms of continuing their tightening uh, so an increase of interest rates a continued increase in interest increase in interest rates apologies for uh, a continued increase in interest rates um, based on the data that they've seen coming out from the state side so the data coming out state said hasn't been too great and a slowdown in uh, economic growth has prompted um, the fed to be to take the side of caution in terms of increasing rates um, that being said, the, uh, a rate increase for June still looks on the cards as a still high percentage or high, uh, high, uh, um, high opportunity of that happening. But it is um, the feeling that the interest rates will go up next month are being subdued somewhat. Um, and that's uh, definitely a note um, that you should take on board. Um, as we've seen, we have seen weakness across the dollar, um, and we're going to see that we're going to see that across our charts um, somewhat. And one that we've really seen that on, and especially off the back of the data came out, uh, the data that came out on the Canadian uh, was on the Canadian dollar, and as we can see right now, the Canadian dollar is floating at one point three four zero two. Um, we can see a big bearish day. Um, yesterday um, so CAD gaining value on the USD obviously on some slight USD weakness um, but not only that but very good data coming out in terms of the jobs uh, jobs data so employment data as well as continued growth we don't have any movement from the Central Bank of Canada in terms of their rates as well so they look they look like they're heading steady um, some as I said uh, some uh, strength on the Canadian dollar, uh, so the loonie looks like it is uh, bottoming out, maybe um, potentially worth a watch. Uh, moving on forward straight onto the euro, as we can see, euro on this daily time frame is flying high, um, having come off a low um, that has been seen um, over the last three days. But right now, just just sitting at one point twelve, uh, one point twelve twenties. Um, and looks still looks fairly strong as I said there, there may be some liquidity um, dips today um, because of the amounts of holidays that we have across Europe so worth worth paying attention to that as well um, 
the yen on this daily time frame again we're still in an area of consolidation I haven't seen too much movement on the yen um, have we did see it off the back of last week dip and break into into the the one tens um, quite substantially but floating right now just below 112 uh, at 111.74 as we can see on this daily time frame, just price action is just sitting um, below the cluster of these moving averages that we've got, um, them being uh, the 150 and the 20, which are just clustering up as we speak right now. The Australian dollar right now floating at 0 0.7486 on this um, on this daily time frame um, looks again. Um, to be potentially topping out on this chart, having come up to an, a strong area of resistance in this case, um, and tested the bottom, the, bo the top, and the bottom of its three-day range. Um, moving on, moving on forwards to um, cable again. This is cable on a daily time frame. We're still stuck just above that area of, in this case, support. Um, after uh, we did know. That we that we've broken a key level of support and resistance, and potentially we'll see a certain amount of consolidation. If you remember, that was mentioned over the course of the week, and in particularly last week. Um, so, cable looking fairly um, uh, uh, fairly static, but staying well above the 1.29s, uh, just slightly below the 1.3 right now, floating at 1.2984 doing well um moving on to um uh the commodities i'm just having a look at wti right now wti off the high of its three day um uh three day range um just coming up again to that strong level of support and resistance floating right now at 51.55 as you can see i've got a number of areas highlighted on this chart um but I think it's it's going to be it's going to be important to watch this particular chart. Potentially could see some um, some bullish movement and behaviour. Potentially breaking the fifty two dollars um, quite easily um, today if we do see a series of output restriction set up by OPEC. Remember, um, that's what the OPEC meetings are going to be geared towards over the course of today. Um, so potentially looking to see, and what we'd like to see on our charts is a break of that 52 and potentially stay above it, which will show the support again. Um, so obviously bouncing back somewhat uh, after breaking down into the low 40s, um, towards the start of this month and back into the 50s, $10 a barrel above its low, um, just under three weeks or uh, three weeks later. Quite important. Um, moving on forward uh, over to um, gold spot. Right now, gold floating at 1257 above the 1250. Again, quite important. It's just seeing um, uh, a relative amount of indecision um, this morning. If we do see um, a little more dollar strength creep creep back into the market after we've seen it dip somewhat, then potentially um, we I think we all know where this um, where this chart may head to. It may start creeping towards there. So, um, guys, as always, if you've got any questions in regards to any charts or uh, potentially how to improve your trading, feel free to send us an email at info at phoenixblue.co.uk. Alternatively, visit our website and we'll be happy to assist. Uh, until next time, guys, happy trading. Goodbye.